Have you ever wondered what you have to do to keep a hydroponic garden alive? Just look at how big this basil plant is and how these tomatoes look like coming along. We've actually got a few little ones coming in. Are you a beginner or do you just want to know a little bit about the nutrient I use to create awesome looking tomatoes like this and some good looking zucchini like that? Well, I've got to mix some hydroponic nutrients, so I just want to show you exactly how easy this is. Once your system is built, this is all you have to do. And that's why hydroponic garden is great for somebody who wants to grow their own food, but wants to be kind of lazy because you only have to do this every couple days. Anyway, things we're going to need, five gallon bucket, a teaspoon, and your nutrient. So I'll go over the nutrient that I've got. Follow me to the garage. So we're going to need a few things today. We need a bucket, five gallon bucket, our nutrient, which I use a three part nutrient. I will leave a link below in the description for this. It's from Amazon and I get a little cut if you buy it through there. So I would really appreciate it. It's a master blend. So I just need the master blend, calcium nitrate and Epsom salt. It all comes together and then we need a teaspoon and that's it. Let's show you how to mix this. All right, so to get started, we'll take the master blend and our teaspoon. We just need two teaspoons of this. And I do a ratio of two teaspoons of everything. So we've got our teaspoon. There's one. There's two. Then we grab our calcium nitrate. Do two teaspoons of that. Then our Epsom salt. And we do a teaspoon and a half of that. So there's a the half. There's a teaspoon. Now all we need is water. So yeah, my hose is broken. I need to get a new one. But we're just gonna put a little bit of water down in here. I like to kind of create a slurry. So I like to put, you know, about three or four inches of water in the bucket. And then I mix it around and I fill it up the rest of the way. All right, so we've got a little bit of water in there. As you can see, there's still some at the bottom. Just slosh it around, try to get it as mixed up as good as you can. You can manually mix stuff, it's not gonna hurt you. I've been using a piece of packs that's left over. Mix it up nice and good. And then we fill it the rest of the way with water because all of these measurements are for a five gallon bucket. All right, that's a full five gallon bucket. Let's make sure everything is mixed around. And then depending on how you do your system, well, you might have to end up pouring it in here into your reservoir. But the way that I've designed my system, I can actually dump it straight into this reducing coupling right here. Just double check to make sure we're all mixed up. We had a little bit it was left over in there, but it will get cycled through with the water. We just grab it and pour it right in here. And that's all there is to it, guys. If you're interested in building a hydroponic system, that's all you have to do in order to grow plants like this. Like, it's truly amazing. If at any time you are interested in this system, let me know down in the comments because I haven't made a video on how to build one yet, but I do need to expand my system so I can show you exactly how to build this. 